Hi, welcome to The Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff The Gamesplainer, and today I'm gamesplaining photosynthesis. If you've watched the first videos, you'll have an idea of the rules of photosynthesis. I'm going to have a two-player game. I've set it up with blue versus yellow. The only difference with the two-player game is that this stack of point tiles, which refer to merely this middle space, will not be used. Instead, if anyone takes that middle space, they'll get the points for the three-leaf version. Blue is start player, but everyone will get their points at the same time. Blue has one point there, one point there, because the sun's going this direction. Yellow has one point there and one point there. So both of them will get two points. Blue will use his two points, so he's going to use one point to plant one seed there. He'll then use his other point to plant a seed there. So that's his two light points both used. Yellow also has two light points. He's going to use his two light points to grow this tree. That costs two points. This one should come back here, but there's no space, so that gets thrown back into the box never to be seen again. And that was the two light points. First player switches hands, so yellow will go first next. The sun moves one space around, and we go for light points again. So yellow is going to get two, three, Blue's going to get one, two. Yellow gets to three. Blue goes to two. Yellow is going to spend one of his light points to get a seedling to there. So this enables him to plant a seed two spaces away or drop a seed two spaces away. The small trees can only send one space away. So that's one of his points. And he might just leave that there for the moment. Um, as he's wanting to save up some points to do something bigger in his next turn. So Blue's next turn, Blue has two light points to use. He'll use one of them to release a seedling from there, and he will use one of them to grow that seedling into a small tree. Now, because this now has a space to come back to, that goes there, so that was his other light point, he's back to zero. Then, once again, change hands, turn the sun one more space, and start phase one again. So the sun's going this direction, meaning we get one, two, three points for blue. Goes to three. Yellow gets two points there and still gets his one there, so that's three more points. So he's on two to start with, so that pushes him up to five points. Blue is going to use two of his light points to grow that tree. This one should get returned there, but there's no space, so that gets thrown out of the game. And he's just used two of his light points, so that moves it down to one. With his one point that he's got left, he's going to throw a seed. He'll throw it from this guy. He'll throw his seed to here. Uh, he's going to have to be careful of shadows going this way and this way, but that's what happens. Okay, so yellow's turn. Yellow has five light points to play with, so he's going to spend four. You can see there's a little number four there four of them to release his big tree, puts him down to one, and he will spend one light point to turn this seedling into a small tree. And that doesn't have space to go back on his board, so that one also gets discarded from the game. It's down to zero. Okay, first player changes hands one more time, then the sun shifts around one more space, and we go to the light points again. So blue gets two points and sends shadow over those two spots, it's not a problem. Another one, another one, so that's four points for blue. Yellow gets one, he gets one for this one, which sends shadow there, and another two for this, so he'll also get four points. Yellow is first player this time. He's going to use three of his four points to upgrade that one to a large tree. Once again, his medium tree doesn't have anywhere to go back to, so it's going to be removed from the game. Uh, that was three points, he's got one point left. And with that one point, he might release a seed, and that will go one, two. He's gonna go for that center spot. Blue currently has five points on his board, so he's going to use three of those points to release that. He can then use two points to upgrade this tree to a medium tree. Once again, it doesn't have space on the board, so he loses that tree from his play altogether. That was the other two points, so he's down to zero again. Okay. First player marker changes hands again. We move the sun to the next spot around. Blue gets two points, two shadows. 
Yeah, it's one more point for this, which casts a shadow here, but because this one's bigger than this one, that'll get him another two points for another medium tree. So it's five points for blue, and yellow gets one point up there, another point there, and three points here. So once again, that's five points for yellow. Uh, blue is first player. He's going to release his big tree for four of those points. He'll upgrade one of his seedlings. Uh, he might go for this one to a small tree for the other point. Now once, because there's no space for that to go back to, so that also gets removed from the game. He's got no points left. Yellow has five points. He's going to use four of those points to cut this down, and that gains him that token. Big tree goes back onto its spot on the main board, and he'll use one point to upgrade that into a small tree so it can do something next turn. Once again, nowhere for that to go, so it'll go back in the box. The sun, once again, moves to the next quadrant, and we take points again. So yellow gets one, two, three points, and blue gets two points. Another one. That one casts a shadow, but it's only to there. So that's another one and another two. So it's four, five, six points for blue. Yellow being first player has four points. So there's not much he can do because he hasn't released anything here. So he's going to have to spend three of those points to release that guy. He's only got one point left, which isn't enough to upgrade a small tree into a large tree. So he'll release a seedling for one more point. That's down to zero. Blue has six points, so he will upgrade this medium tree into a large tree. That's three of his points used. That goes back on the board. So you've got three points left and nothing out here. So it's probably worth releasing that guy for the other three points. So he'll be able to put that onto his board in future rounds. Then once again, first player changes hands. The sun moves its way around to the next space. Because we're back here, that's the end of the first round, so we take the number three and remove it, and play continues. I think that's probably enough of this game. You've got the idea, that's a third of the game done. That will happen three times, um, unless you're playing Adventure Rules, then it'll go four times. I think you've got a good idea of how the game runs, how it flows, and how it works. I hope this video gives you a better idea of photosynthesis and how it plays. I hope it helps you get photosynthesis to the table. If you have any games that you wish to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplanner to see what games I've been playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.